Hello, I'm going to do uh, my, uh, not really a, a re technical review per se, but I'm just going to share my thoughts about the Monosub, um, <clears throat> Monosub M-Sub A0826 8 inch 60 watt subwoofer. And if it's a six, uh, 60 watt peak, it's probably um, probably like 25 RMS. I'm not sure. Should have looked that up. But I have it side by side with the um, Polk PS10, PSW10. Uh, no, the Polk is not the big brother of the Monosub. The Monosub has a... The Monosub's big brother is uh, also... They also have a 10-inch model. The reason I have them side by side is only two for the design differences. Um, the first one, well, uh, okay, let's let's go back. The good thing about the the mono sub does fifty to two hundred and fifty hertz. The poke does thirty five to two hundred. The Polk is 14 inches, by 14 by 16 by 14. The Monosub is notice, noticeably smaller. Not tiny, but as you can see, it's noticeably smaller. And um, situationally, I got the Polk for 80 bucks. And... Um, that wasn't including shipping, and that's the re that's I mean it, it's a great subwoofer. It normally retails for two hundred, but I just checked on the internet and it's all of the prices all over the place. But the lowest you can get it for is ninety. I saw it on sale for seventy nine again at Fry's and they didn't have it, so I said, well, let me you know why not? Let me get the subwoofer. Let me get the mono price. Let me give it a try. It's 60 bucks. I had 15% off. Total cost was 63 for sh including shipping. And I had to I had to get the poke myself, and that was probably an extra uh, uh, $25. So there were, that's that's always the factor too, isn't it? So um <laughs> advantages of this one I think it's it's definitely made for music it's a smaller it's a smaller footprint noticeably smaller I have I have I had them both under my computer desk and um, that's this one gives you more floor the mono, the mono price gives you more floor space it is musical it's a good it's a good little subwoofer for, for music if <laughs> it if you want to spend sixty, if you want to, if you have sixty bucks to spare, and you want to, and you want to experience, you know, that low bass, two fifty and under, and it, and for music, that's 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 money, that's money well spent. You're okay. The only way you can do better is a garage sale or a pawn shop if you get lucky. But that's that's you're doing. You're good. If, if you buy this for music, I tried it with my uh, home theater system, and it, it did not give the floor rumbling, floor rumbling sound that the KLH, KLH would, KLH did. And um, it actually, um, my home theater has some. If you see my other videos, I have Onkyo towers. They're going on for thirty-five. And they they also provided the rumble more rumble than this. So, but that being said, <coughs> most mu most music doesn't hit most music doesn't go below sixty or forty. I think so. You're doing re pretty good. You're doing really good if you get the mono price for it. You know the mono price for that price, and you and you wanna and you wanna hear some some real bass. If you have a and you have only, um, you have, you know, bookshelf speakers, <coughs> and um, 
you're not you you know you're not getting you're not getting the uh, you're not getting that base but you want to feel some you want to hear some you um you, you're good to go with this one okay some minor some small design differences uh you can take line input from the uh you know your uh, speaker i mean from your receiver and I, and the, I noticed I left the fast powers in there to show you that this is a good addition if you have about just to have oh the button the, the buttons I like them they're bigger than they're bigger than the buttons on the oh nice nice heat uh, heat heat radiator right there power switch. And the pole. Um, the 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 power switch is very small. Uh, it and this volume knob is also very small. Uh, volume knob, see. It gives you a little more. It gives you a little more control. When you when you're dialing when you're trying to dial in that that uh, subwoofer volume. Oh, and one last thing uh, about this one: the off and on, and uh, the auto on and the on are set. You know, it's a separate control. This is the auto on is a little just a fraction of a second slow coming on. You know, to the music, but. I'm still okay with that. If I wanted to, if it was that important, I could leave it on all the time. But I, I leave it on auto on, so it's just that, you know, power down green mode. Um, this one also has, has an auto on, but it's all on one tiny uh, throw, throw switch right here. Once again, this is this... This back side seems to be made for little hands. Um, so, in conclusion, in, in conclusion, you don't have a lot of floor space, <coughs> uh, or you have bookshelf speakers, and you want to give some subwoofer sound a try. You um you aren't going wrong buying a brand new sixty dollar model price sub. You're not throwing your money away. Good little sub good little subwoofer for a good price. Signing out.